Hello and <clears throat> welcome to this video. My name is Noman Khan and I'm the UCX consultant for CloudMove. In this short video, I will show you how we can use the motion bull dialer uh, to broadcast the calls and then connect with the agent just to speed it, speed up the process of dialing. So to do so, we have the component called motion bull. It can do the job for us. But before we do the motion bull, we need to prepare our data okay and that data is under the list we have the real estate example we can open up and see the list or click on the show contact <coughs> sorry so right now i have two contact as an example okay and just let me open up this is one of the contact uh, edit and you see the customer name details the phone number the email and here we have the custom field for real estate like the nationality property locations okay and then we have the apartment type is a, you know the property type is an apartment property unit is one and then the property size is 1000 square feet okay this is just an examples okay now if we click on the customer journey we say we earlier we had an example where we tried this customer was automatically already called but he did not answer it okay and again when we log in back as an as an agent you will see the call again well you will see the call again well connect okay so <clears throat> we have our data as we created the list and in the list as i showed you we have all the custom field we added here okay and uh, so we are ready so let's do uh, the dialing you know in action but before that, let's have a quick look on the dialer. So this is the campaign. We make it a real estate leads, right? And uh, we just click on these uh, details. These are the some default configurations. And if you click on the retry, you can see if, if the customer do not answer it, retry him. Okay, after five minutes, or you can change it, or even after 150 minutes, depending on the situations or your business rules. Okay, and this is the hopper. Okay, so in the hopper, you can see we had two leads and uh, we had, you know, one open and one already closed. So before this, we already ran this campaign for testing. And you see, this is the number right now is in the hopper because we tried to call, but the customer did not answer it. So when the agent again re-log in, the system will make call again to this customer. Okay. And you will see that in action. And if you come to the history, you see this number we already called, but it was dropped. And this number we called, okay, it was answered. Okay. Uh, yes. So uh, without taking more time, let's see in action. So what I will do, I will simply log out from here. Okay. Now log in as uh, agent. Okay. Okay. So when I logged in, this was the previous contact. We can just simply close. And then we will wait, our system will automatically call us again. You see, we start receiving calls. Let me answer it. And once I answer it, you can see the phone number. You see the details. And here is the property information. One minute, let me disconnect this call. Press echo. You see the property information here like whatever we uploaded in the list we can see here the nationality the locations okay the property type is apartment the property unit is one and the property size and square feet here and this is the customer information right and uh, once uh, the agents speak to the customers right uh, they can uh, they can dispose you know after speaking with it by marking it like it's interested and they can also write the note this is a test note and also they can depending on the situation they can dispose reschedule or recall me you know just to remind okay and then you can support the date and all okay in such situations for right now i will just click on dispose and then i'm done so here if you want to see the customer journey that will also appear here okay 
we'll be able to see we the system call the agent and then uh, you can see here okay uh, all the other informations right it was an outbound and you see the agent id detailed informations and then the note as well so this is how uh, the automated dialer works and x calling okay by uploading the data and by customizing it by adding the fields and then assigning the campaign to your agents and then when the agent log in the system on behalf of uh, the company or the agent they may call so you have the retry schedules like busy no answer skip so it make the process uh, super fast you know like more much more productive and make job easy for the agent so thank you so much for watching this video if any question anything just let us know goodbye